All right, Shalom Almighty. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect that sees us real now, true faith and sincerity. And today, I just want to title this lesson Above All, the Shield of Faith. And you know, concerning putting on the whole armor of the Most High, which is in the whole role, you know, chiefly, uh, as it says, above all, taking the shield of faith. Faith is, is first and foremost, man. You know, it ultimately, it is a commandment to have faith. Matter of fact, let's start out with that. And faith in what? Faith in, in the report. You know, the teachings of Yahweh Shah, man, which is over here at uh, Great Millstone, began with the elders and apostles on down, man. And, you know, because faith is nothing tangible. You can't put it on paper, can't add the numbers up. Ultimately, the scripture says it was created with the faithful in the womb. So, ultimately, you have to be built with faith. And those are the ones that are going to actually keep this, as the scripture said, keep the commandments, which is the scriptures as a whole, to retain the sayings. That's a commandment, man. Uh, this is the book of Romans 3 and verse 27. It reads, where is boasting then? It is excluded. But by what law? Of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. So it's a commandment to believe. And uh, the man whom the Lord have sent, man. Because the result is that you will be delivered. You know? You'll be preserved from the said perils. You'll be kept from the wiles of the devil. You know, uh, beginning with the, the wayward ideologies and these crazy doctrines that's out here. The shield of faith. Uh, protect you from that when uh, this devil come down with great wrath and that Karatma is presented unto you the shield of faith is going to ward you from those darts because that's going to that's going to actually lead to a dart by the way of that Karatma man which it was a prelude when this man issued the jabs but how much more the Karatma well our faith is going to uh, Faith is going to be at, uh, shown at its height way as we're going to see these uh, different plagues play out in this perfection. Faith is going to play out in this perfection as well. Dealing with the elect, man. You know? Because the Lord has revealed unto us that he runs the show. There's nothing corner that we can do to escape the said perils. Uh, we got a formula for Jacob's trouble. That's not the case. Uh, bunkers, you got Food stored up. You got weaponry. That shit ain't going to matter, man. Ultimately, it's going to be our faith. And yeah, how about our outside is going to keep us from the hour of temptation when you read Revelation, the third chapter. Keeping the sayings of the Lord, holding fast to the word. is going to actually uh, lead to this pavilion, man. You know, us being protected from the troublesome times. This is the book of Psalm 33, and I'm going to start at verse 16. It says, There is no king saved by the multitude of an host. A mighty man is not delivered by much strength. Yeah, because ultimately it's up to you how about Shema Shai to make the decision, man. Which these things actually took place in history uh, concerning the multitude of hosts. When you go into the Medio Persian Empire, they had a set in their military called the Immortals because of their vast numbers. But the Lord set up where the Greeks overtook them. You know? Despite their numbers. Guess what? It didn't matter. The Lord said it. That's why I scripture talk about it. This is the Lord's battle. It was set up where the Greeks overthrew them. Despite the immortals. Being, you know, the vast numbers. And this is a mighty man is not delivered by much strength. Which you can also go into the count of David and Goliath. You know, Goliath was 
well-known warrior. Even, even Saul was spooked at him and shit. But the Lord raised up the young lad, David, to overthrow him, man. It says, a horse is a vain thing for safety. Neither shall he deliver any by his great strength. See? So that show you is nothing in this corner round. Is up to you how by now sorry, that allows you to prosper, to be preserved, to overcome, or to be taken down and overthrown and you know, be disrupted. It's nothing of us in this corner round you can many push ups as you could. You the strongest guy in Israel. That's not gonna keep them hunger pains away. You know? Ultimately, it shows you this, our help is going to have to come from on high, man. You know, it says, behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy, see? So that's what we hoping in the mercy of the Lord, hoping the Lord preserve us from the said perils, which this is the beginning stages of the mercy of the Lord's actually giving us this understanding this truth but this mercy is going to grow in manner it's going to grow into the lord preserving us from the 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 esau when he come down with great wrath from the fat matter of fact it's going to go into it actually it says to deliver their soul from death see was well, that's a broad statement beginning with esau eating the so-called white man which he is as death as well as the, the, the spirit of death is going to be very heavy upon the planet Earth, especially here in America. You know, because the the ways of death have brightened to where now a car accident can take place. You know, a light bulb can fall, fall upon you. You know, this man is his technology is at, at his height, a mechanical dog. You know, these different forms that will lead to death Lord's going to deliver us from that. It said, and to keep them alive in famine. See? And so, it's as you can see, deliver, keep. That show you, it's, our, it's not in our hands. It's up to you how by Hashem outside. You know, and that's why ultimately that, that faith, that shield of faith, that's going to keep us from the doubt demon. You know, that's why I tell you, matter of fact, let's get some real quick in the book of, um, I think that's Sirach 2. Sirach 2 and uh, verse 13 says, Woe unto him that is faint-hearted, for he believeth not. See, this is that's the penalty for not following the law of faith. Woe, which is destruction. Because, of course, we're coming into some trouble sometimes where our faith like I said, it's going to be played out in this perfection as well. You know, you know, this is the first form of it, you know, coming out and proclaiming, you know, the name of Yahweh Bashan al and the, the teaching on the streets and, you know, changing your uh, your lifestyle, your walk. That's the first form of faith, but it's, it's going to take it to the next level. You know, when... Uh, this devil's try to he's gonna try to collapse this system, bring in this digital currency, by the way, that Karagma, the MOTB. You know, it's gonna get time where it's gonna be that pressure is gonna come down. You can't doubt. Oh, it tells you that um in the day of adversity. Matter of fact, let's get that before we go back. I think that's Proverbs 24. Proverbs 24 and 10. It says, is thou faint? In the day of adversity, see, thy strength is small, see, because us when the Lord is preparing us from these things, from for these things to take place. And that's why you got miracles recorded, man. It ain't like they just you just read about things in the lines then to, to tuck the children's in at night. You read that to them and they got a confident story to go to. No, these are actual events that took place upon the planet Earth. The, Three holy children. You know, you read about the, the disciples, uh, later as the apostles, the things they have went to, Peter being locked up and delivered. 
those accounts wasn't just written for nothing. Ultimately, it was going to meant for us to look back on and consider because it was going to play out in this height in this time. So that's why it's a commandment. That's why I says one to you that is faint-hearted. Because for he believe or not. So the miracle can't activate. You know? So that's why I say if thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. So yeah, you know, all the time we've been concerned and talking about all hell breaking loose and this system collapsing. But you still got a uh, what's going to hold uh, Jake back is their sentimental value what they hold in America. It's something in America that's keeping them now. And that was going to lead them to fall apart. You know, it's nothing. They got to have something tangible to grasp to. They're not going to lean upon y'all by smiles. You know, that, that leap of faith. Well, we're going to add that sand is going to play out its perfection when all hell break loose, man. You know, and that fan is you going to the devil for for help, you know. You can see it. Which is going to lead to your destruction, man. So going back, say, uh, Sirach 2 in verse 13, it says, One to him that is faint hearted, for he believe him not. Therefore, he shall not be defended, see. So now them darts of the devil is going to get you from by the way of these philosophies. You know, now you believe the earth is flat. You know, you didn't take the shit of faith. You got hit and now you have succumbed to the, you know, that wound. Or uh, even, like I said, when all hell break loose and the you know, pressure's on, you, you on the brinks of getting cast out of your home and you just you fall apart and you take the, the sea help you're not going to be defended this is one to you that have lost patience see and then show you that um, this, this, this is a process as well because uh, dealing with the faith you, it, you expecting it you know that hope that hope that confident expectation but it's not going to be on the time that we want it. It's going to be the time when the Lord sees fit. And let's show you that this is going to play out. It's going to make a whole lot more sense. Those that know they're Israelites and they're going to lose patience. You know, um, like I said, when that sea hip come, that's going to be the uh, that trial, you know. The hour of temptation. It says, and what will you do when the Lord shall visit you? See? So they show you that's the uh, the penalty for not believing, for not having faith, for not taking that shield of faith. Destruction is coming, man. You know, because ultimately, that's what, it, that's, that's what it come down to, believe in the report. As we just read in Psalm 33 concerning the no matter how much power you proceed to have and might and strength, it don't matter. It's up to you how by Shem Al Shai. And the Lord ultimately is gonna keep those that fear him and that hope and his mercy. See? That's why I says uh uh what was written in Fort Town, Renfire learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Because we can read the latter end of those events. And they was delivered, man. But it was a process. The Lord made it dramatic. To where when we came out of that situation, it, you couldn't come to no conclusion, but it was Yahweh by Shema That's why when Peter, when, uh, when the Lord sent the angel to lead him out of the prison, and um, he went through those different gates. And ultimately when he was... That, that last gate opened unto him. He was like, it was a surety the Lord has sent the angel, you know. So the Lord going to make it, he going to make his presence known, man, on all levels. Even, you know, this process of deliverance. So going back, Psalm 33 and verse, um, verse 20, it says, Our soul waited for the Lord. He is our help and our shield, see. So that's that, that, that shield of faith. Y'all by Shemel Shai is the one that's going to keep us from these troubles and times. It's the Lord that's going to feed us. 
is the Lord is going to defend us and protect us in these times of trouble, man. You know? Oh, um, because we already uh, attention in Isaiah the tenth chapter that we shall no more stay upon him that smote us. We're not trusting on Esau. We we going to the Holy One in Israel in truth, man. You know, and it says the remnant is gonna is the one that's gonna do that, man. He says, for our hearts shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name. See, we have trusted in the reputation that the Lord, you know, he's he's that power, that, that, that great power to judge in the earth, to judge righteously in the earth, man. And it said, we're going to rejoice in him. So, meaning what? Those desires of deliverance is going to come to pass because we have trusted in this Lord is not unrightful. To forget our works and labor of love. You know, I tell you, he's not going to put out a flickering flame. You know, that we're not going to be judged with the world. We reign a different, uh, what it says, we're going to be kept alive in the family. We trust in that. That's, that's, the Lord is known for doing dramatic things like that. We read, uh, the story of Alyssa and even, uh, Dealing with the four lepers. Was those are actual events that took place, man. And we hold fast to that report. And we're going to see the benefits of believing in that. It says, let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us. According as we hope in thee. See, so that's the key thing is faith. Being, uh, having a confident expectation of the Lord, you know. Delivering us in these troublesome times, man. Even now, these there's a lot of wayward thoughts is is going throughout the midst of Israel. That's the that's part of the Lord um, delivering us and defending us from these different. Uh, that's part of the troublesome times. The people, the, the the minds of these people are being troubled. Then it's gonna actually grow into physical troubles you know but the benefits of believing is going to actually lead to to mercy you know so let's get this in the book of Ephesians see I'm going to start at 10 it reads put on the whole armor of the most high see which is the truth you know eating the whole roll you know not picking you just eating certain parts you know, you got to eat the whole roll, the whole armor that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. See, so dealing with the trickery, like I said, the different enchantments that Esau brought, brings forth from the, um, the doctrines, you know, that see him having his armor, which is his truth that... This clothing, the, the white garments, is it's the same thing. It's this truth that's going to keep us from these things. It's just for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. See? So it's nothing carnal. It, it's not carnal. It's not like you literally suiting up. You look like a knight from the Byzantine Empire. No. This is um, pretty much your mind is being girded up. Tells you that gird up the lawns of your mind. It says, but against principalities and powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. See, wherefore well, take unto you the whole armor of the most high that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. See, this is the tool necessary for this time. Is nothing else, like I said, the weapon we just read in Psalm 33 concerning this evil day uh, that we're into and coming in. To, no matter the multitude of hosts, your strength, uh, you rely on your horse, which is a representation of power, which in today's time is your gun and, you know, these different, um, you know, your bunker. You know, you got a 
stash of beans this is gonna go to no avail. This is that. This is what uh, what is needed to to stand, withstand, withstand in the evil day. You know. It says, "And have it done all to stand." See, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. It says above all. See? So this is chiefly, man. Above all, taking the shield of faith. See? So this is chief, uh, chiefly, man. The shield of faith. Just read it on. Uh, Romans the third child. This is a commandment. And if you don't believe. The penalty is, is, is going to be worn to you. You're not going to be defended. You know? It says, Well, with you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the devil. See? So having this faith, you want to be able to ward off the darts of the devil from these ideologies. Like I said, that's running rapid now. These different wayward thoughts. You know? But what's... Uh, the, 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 that faith the shield of faith is we being defended from you know these things even it's going to actually even go into the darts by the way of uh, this devil and his sea help because he's going to it's going to be in a deceptive manner our faith is going to be tested you know it says, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, see? And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of the most high, see? So that's the whole armor, which is this truth, man. You know, what it says, above all, having the shield of faith. This is the chief thing. This is a commandment to have faith. And not just in, in faith in what, though? Faith in the report, belief and the teachings of Yahweh Shai, which is here at Great Millstone, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai, man. You know, and the penalty for not believing is destruction. Because what is the teaching centers around? The, uh, you know, the coming to the house before the Lord, you know, bring forth this rain, you know, that storm, which is Jacob's trouble, man. You know, talk about the famine the 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 money crash and the different wars from race wars to the world war this karagma and you know if you don't believe that that means you're going to actually succumb to those things so matter of fact i'm gonna end off on this in the book of revelation third chapter revelation chapter three and verse 10 says because thou hast kept the word of my patience see we holding fast to the words of Yahweh Shai, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. See? So the Lord is going to defend us, man. Why? Because we kept the words. We believe and we held fast to it. Or oh, I tell you that in 1 Timothy, continue in the doctrine, for in doing this you shall save thyself and them that hear thee. So they show you uh, uh, faith has to be, oh, even with Noah. Tells you Noah was moved with fear, and that uh, ultimately it is impossible to please him without faith, man. It's impossible to please the Lord without faith, man. How can you, you know, the scripture, like I said, the scripture mentions these different miracles, you know, these marvelous works of the Lord, you know, those are that wasn't just events that just took place just to. Put it on the, you know what I mean? You no, know, those are actually a prelude to what the Lord's going to do in this time. So I'm going to read it again. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So this is that trial of our faith. You know? So we're going to see that faith. Faith is going to be played out in his perfection as we're going to see like i said we're going to see uh we seeing wickedness in his perfection 
you know, evils. We're going to actually see the, the famine, fire play out in his profession, in his fullness. But even faith as well, that's going to play out in his perfection. We're going to see faith in his fullness, you know, by the, uh, you know, taking that stand, you know, trusting in your heart by your mouth shall when, when that, uh, when this devil, you know, bring forth that sea help. It's going to have to take faith. That, like I said, that saying, the leap of faith, that leap of faith, we're going, that saying is going to actually play out. You know, but in this battle, the Lord equipped us with the right tools. And it said, the first and foremost, for anything, above all, the shield of faith. So, yeah, I can imagine just hold it with edifying. I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Rakakodash. Double honor is to the apostles and the elders of great meals, strong. To the one, to the elect, the teach word in our true faith and sincerity. DTA, Abba, Abba, soon, very soon.